Hey everyone, this is Benjamin here from the African Geek and you are welcome to this fantastic tutorial inside of Canva. Today, what you see on my screen is what we are going to be creating today. So if this is something you think you are interested in, all I have to say is stay tuned and I will be right back after the intro. Okay, so you can see I'm holding my mic today because a lot of you keep saying that my audio is always low. And I keep seeing, you know, those comments and I was thinking, what's the best way? Because I tried every single way to improve on the audio, but it looks like it was too low. So this time around, I think from now on was to like get um, a better microphone. I'll just have to be holding it this close to my mouth. And I'll just love to know what you think. Does it sound much better? Because I see from the audio waves over here that, you know, it sounds, you know, much louder and much better. So I also want to know if you think i should be holding my microphone close to my mouth every single time i talk let me know in the comment section okay and then um, also this time around you don't have to use the um how do you call it the google drive link to the you know to get you just heard that so that's another trouble <laughs> you don't have to use the google drive um link i always have in the description box below i created the website i promised you so with every element i am going to use all you have to do is to visit element.theafricangeeks.com okay just visit that link and um, you'll be able to find every single element i would be using in this tutorial one more thing you can also get canva pro for free you know for 35 days you know you actually trying it out to see if you like it and if you also want to finally upgrade to canva the same link i have in the description box below can help you do that so yes let's dive into today's video because i just can't wait to show you what we have not what we have to do but uh you know i just can't wait to show you the exact steps so let's dive into today's video and let's get started okay so you can see the whole design here and like i said every single element i have over here can be found in the website i shared with you which is the element dot the african geeks dot com okay so we first of all create a new um you know page okay and the dimension i'm using is 1080 by 1350 thank you very much for understanding okay so you can see how everything is looking very easy and very simple so the first thing we are actually going to do is to come into um elements okay and then um, the same element can be found like i promised in the element website if you are on canva even on the free version of canva okay and um some other ones that are not even on canva you can also find them there which i'll be using so we would be um uh where do i even go yes so come to photos and in photos i'm just going to search for live you know um live guard okay live guard tube is that correct okay fantastic and i would also open the elements website okay so this is how it's going to look when you visit okay and you can just search for even when you type tube you should be able to find it okay so lifesaver tube okay so you just have to click on it and um, when you click on it you know you see download now so once you click it should download very easily for you okay so you can see it's downloading and that's how is basically going to work you understand so yeah so i just come back here and i'll go to you know instead of searching i'll just go to my recently used because um i have it over there so i would come to see all okay and i'll just scroll down okay and i have it over here so i just add it here and also i'll search for ocean okay so ocean and i should find interesting images but i also want to go with what i used initially okay so i come to recently use the game and i would scroll down till i find it it's, it's not far from all of these things it should be somewhere here so this is it so i click on it and i find it here not find it here i add it here okay then i just place it somewhere here okay then let me delete this for now i'll add it back okay so um i crop it and i make it bigger okay then we position it here push it down a little bit okay so now that we have this what we are going to do now is to add a gradient so you can see that there's some sort of gradient okay 
and i forgot to even mention the color code for the background image so let me just tell you the color code the color code is 80cad3 okay so 80cad3 that's the color code for this okay so you add it and let me position this well and um let me just you know nice one and i will do this and do that okay and do that okay so that's beautiful so with the gradient what i'm going to do is i already have it in my um elements okay i already uploaded it to my canva not to my element but you know for those of you who don't have it let me just show you how you can get it from here again so you can just search for gradient okay so once you you know search for gradient you should find it very easily and very simple you can see transparent gradient so just click on it and um, once you click on it you would see it okay then you, you, you just have to um download it you can see four people have downloaded it already which is very 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 beautiful okay so that's um with that okay so i'll just try to find it from my canva all right so you can see it over here so i just click to add it you know to my canva and i rotate it um 180 degrees okay negative 180 degrees and i position it here drag it up for it to cover okay after you do that double click and pull it down okay so this is how it's going to look like and it should be directly on the edge okay it should be um on the edge then we come to no click on the first come to edit image in edit image you come to draw tone okay you see a lot of options here it's loading okay so you can see a lot of options just double click on any of the options over here then you see this so in the highlight what we are going to do is we are going to use the same color we have here for our gradient so i click on the same color come to the shadows click select the same color okay then i click on apply so once i do that it should be able to you know um, give us a seamless transition from the color into the ocean um, photo we have so you can see how it's looking and what we can do is with the ocean photo we can just lock it and with the gradient i'll duplicate it okay so i just created another copy and i place it directly on top so then i select it i group it first okay it means that we have two gradients now on the same image before i lock them so that i do not get to move them around now what we have to do now is to um, use the life saver tube okay so i come to element in element i just search for instead of going to element let me rather come to photos close this up and i'm um, going to the recently so i have my tube over here i add it over here okay then with the lady i use i should also find her here but when you go on the element website you can search for pretty lady or just lady you'd find um a lady you know the lady i actually use okay with a removed background so you don't have to um use that okay so let's scroll down and this is the lady i use so i add her here okay then i come to edit image and i come to remove background all right so while canva is removing the background of our image i just want to say that um upgrading to canva pro i think is a very big deal because if you're trying to improve on your canva pro services or you know you actually make designs using canva um, for clients i think canva pro is a very um good investment to actually make because of the various um possibilities it unlocks for you you understand because from removing background which saves you a lot of time to things like uploading canva content directly from your canva um interface to instagram and facebook and other social media networks i think this is a very good thing you have to um, actually try out so the background of my image has been removed and i want us to dive back into canva to see how best we can continue then i just make my image bigger okay and i position her here crop her okay then you know with this i make it bigger a little bit and i'll just drop it down also some more okay so this is what we have at the moment so i would also crop this part okay of my image oh my goodness okay so you can see um i didn't wait for the design to save okay so i just click come to edit image and i just move the background again but this time around i would work on it so quickly because it's done it before okay then i click on apply then i just have to wait for 
the design to get saved okay so it's saved now so now that i've done this the next thing looking at this you can see the next thing i have to do is to add my leaves and start doing the arrangement and all of that so this step i'm going to skip but i'll show you the first few steps okay so um i would add these ones first okay so this is all i'm going to do maybe i rotate this i can make it bigger and send it behind the lady so you can use the shortcut or come to position and send backward okay then you can duplicate it rotate it this way you know position it here okay and send it behind the lady so you can see how i'm doing it then maybe for the coconut tree i can add it you can also find this on the element website just search for coconut tree and you should find it okay so i position this here okay maybe rotate it this way and send it way be behind duplicate it again rotate it this way position it here and send it way behind okay so you can see i have a, a couple of leaves over here and that's basically what i'm going to do you, you can see that's the same thing i did over here so i will skip the whole process so that um, we don't get to spend so much time doing this so fantastic so you can see how i've been able to arrange everything it's not perfect yet and um, you can see i also added this over here just to hide um you know the cutout part of the lady so you can see over here so we are going to do a couple of things and um you know we can just wrap up with the design so what we are going to do is to add some text so i press t on my keyboard for text and if your text is missing no if your t is actually missing or you know you can't find it or it's not working you can just click on text okay and over here you see add a heading just add the heading and you should get something like this so you can see anything at all you want and i'm going to use the same thing so i'll say beat okay so make it all caps um b e a t okay and i make it bigger okay so i make it bigger like this and i can position it here so um what i'm going to do next is i'm going to change the typeface so i come over here okay which is the typeface area and i'll use the champion gothic feather this is a custom font i uploaded in canva because i'm using canva pro which allows you to um use custom fonts or upload custom fonts you get it yeah so i put it over here okay and it's looking too big so i reduce it a little bit and i would position it here like this okay so this is how it's looking i change the color coming here to change the color to white okay and you can see what i did the text has an outline so i will duplicate it and position it right on top okay then come to effect in effect you choose holo okay then you come to the color and you change the color so the color we are going to change it to is 3bb3c2 okay so once you click on it this is how it's going to look so i can still you know adjust the thickness of the holo according to how i want it so i can do it this way and um, i just want to make the image behind bigger okay nice one so this is how it's looking then i'm going to do the same thing again so i duplicate it and i would you know remove it i'll just select none then this time around i'll say fresh okay, f r e s h you understand then i position it here and reduce the size position it right on top over here okay then come to effect in effect you add a shadow okay then the color of the shadow click on it and change it to black we understand then with the blur increase it okay nice one so you can see what we've done then just duplicate it again okay it also have the same effect and everything you've done come to effect again and this time around we are going to use holo okay then change the color to white then position it right on top of what you have then come back to effect and reduce the thickness you understand so you can see it's not clearly on the, um, the original text so we just click and move it downward a bit so that you know we can see it's now freshly on it so this is what we have then what we are going to do is maybe with this one i'll just you know position it this way and the other coconut you know because it has to do with beach beach and coconut i don't know from where you are but i'll love to know in the comment section if 
you know beach has to do with coconut or you have coconut trees around the beach and stuff like that okay so now that we have all of this what did we do next we just added these extra text um leaves okay so what i'm going to do is i would come to um photos okay and in photos i would you know find this over here this leaf can also be found on the elements website just search for leaf and you'll find it so we increase it over here come to edit image in edit image you come to adjust okay in adjust you increase the blurriness okay so you just make a blur okay then we can just duplicate this rotate it some way somehow no we just rotate it not some way somehow <laughs> position it okay duplicate depending on how you want it okay so it should be random and um, you can see what we are doing then we have another set of leaves over here which we would bring to the front okay then rotate it and maybe you can position it here duplicate it and also rotate it and don't rotate it just position it here so you can see how this is looking then what i added was some extra text over here and you can see i added a flamingo so you can search a flamingo and add it but i don't think it's necessary this time around and i will just add this extra text you know copy and paste it here because i believe it's something you can easily do because you're a pro if you've been watching me for a long time then you're a pro so you can see this is what we were able to create and i hope you found it helpful so just let me know what you think about this tutorial in the comment section and let me know if you still love how i sound because um i think holding my mic improves the you know the sound but i just still want to hear from you and yes this is what i was able to do inside of canva and then what you see on my screen is also um how do you call it it's also another tutorial i would want to recommend to you don't forget the name is always benjamin and you can find me on instagram okay if you also want more tutorials like this make sure to hit on the subscribe button the bell icon like comment you know anything you have to do just do it and one thing i wouldn't want you to forget is there's no limit to creativity i would see you in my next video